coming to this fourth tool in the list which is Pareto chart. Pareto chart is based on 80-20 principle and which tells that 80% of the problems are caused by 20% causes. So to improve quality if you just work on those 20% causes you can solve 80% problems. In the example which we took earlier regarding water bottles there were number of problems loose cap, scratch but if you look at the problems you will see that there are few problems which are happening more number of times. So what you need to do is you just need to focus on those problems which are happening too frequently. So once you solve those two problems for example out of that six you would be able to reduce let's say 80 percent of your problems. So this helps you in prioritizing your problem solving. Pareto chart will help you in identifying that where all you need to give your priority. So basically this helps you in sorting out the vital few from trivial many. So instead of working on trivial many items you just work on vital few items and that way you can improve quality faster. So when I say Pareto chart is a type of bar chart the immediate thought in your mind would be okay a histogram was also type of bar chart what is the difference between histogram and Pareto chart. If you look at the x axis of a histogram x axis of the histogram would be a number a numeric value numeric value could be let us say the range of volumes we talked about the volume of water bottle we will have one bar which will be related to 1000 to 1050 milliliters another bar would be 1050 to 1100 milliliters. So, these bars will be related to a specific number on the x axis. Whereas, when we talk of bar chart in the bar chart on the x axis you will not have numbers you will have the categories. Categories such as loose cap, scratch those are not numbers. So, that is the difference between a bar chart and the histogram. Pareto chart is a bar chart where these bars are arranged in a descending order. The biggest bar is on the left and as you move to the right the height of the bar keeps on reducing. Basically that will help us in identifying the key problems. All the bars which are on the left side which have a higher height basically that is where we will be attending to that is where we will be focusing our attention. Let us look at an example of Pareto chart on the next slide to have a better understanding of what Pareto chart looks like. 